hello everyone. Uh, this is basically a tutorial to walk you through how to use Shaderi. It's a live GeoSO programming environment. Basically, just download executable. You just write some shader code. Hopefully, uh, you will create something really cool, much cooler than this. It's kind of like a playground for graphics programmers. So I thought I would share with you. And here is the walkthrough. So first you might just want to download the zip right from this URL. And let me just get in here. I'm gonna take out the executable. Paste it here. Delete all the garbage. And come here. CD to my download. So I have shit area in here. And let me just create a file. It's the fragment shader that you will feed it to shit area to generate uh, graphics necessary. So let me just call it test.frag. Yes. What's cool about this is you can just start editing it with your favorite uh, text editor. The only thing you have to do is to paste your star code here, so it's available on the readme. That here is what you probably want in your shader to generate the correct image. Here's the comments explaining what they are. If you you do graphics programming, it should be very clear to you what they are. So let me just paste it in here. All right. So this is the basic setup. Of your fragment code. Just typing the shader code in here, for example. Let me just set everything to white. All I have to do is type in shaderian and the file name. And that's our shader, believe it or not. I can full I can maximize it. What's cool about this is if I switch back to the text editor. It's, there's still an overlay of the uh, shade area on top of it. So I can actually just change the color here. All I have to do is to save the file. You know, change to, you know, hot load the file and, you know, draw whatever I just told it to. All the changes happens live, as you can see. And here's the uniforms. This is U time. It's basically a time app is running seconds. The resolution I included here to, uh, to fix for you to fix aspect ratio because it's not always re perfectly rectangular or square the window. Fret coordinates it's just what you would expect. Make one to one. It's, it's pre-normalized so you don't have to worry about that. And here's the output. You just have to write this to output some color. So let's try to do something cool here. Um, First, let me fix the aspect uh, ratio. So, coordinate. Actually, UV, this is what everyone calls it. So, fret chord. All I have to do, if I remember this correctly, is multiply it by resolution of X over resolution Y. This is basically, you were distorting the domain of uh, the plane that you're drawing to, so stuff that will get stretched out will get renormalized back so that the final image will not be distorted depending on your resolution. Okay, so we save it. Oh, another thing to mention is Shaderian does not handle error output since there is already good tools to do it, like GLSL Validator. So I'll leave it to that. Um, okay, now let's test it. Let me just map it back. Let's see how I want to do it. Okay, so 0 0.5 UV plus 0 0.5. That is basically remapping it from negative 1 to 1 domain to 0 to 1 domain. And I could just replace this part with the UV. 
and I say we're good. Or it can do some gamma correction business. So we have verified that this is all good. This is kind of boring. So let's actually make a circle on the screen, which is always fun. Circle's radius is going to be 0 0.3. And if, you know what? This is, let me set the radius of the circle to 0 0.3. D represents the distance from the current pixel to the center of the screen in normalized coordinates. Let me just cancel this remapping because we don't, we don't even need it anymore. So D is equal to length UV. And if float C color is default to black. And if V is less than R, so the pixels within the circle radius, then we set the color to 1. Let's do that. We have a circle. Awesome. So but you can see there's jaggies on the circle, which is not very nice. We can try to fix that. Um, we could try to utilize smooth step, right? So D D plus zero point zero two, that's the padding around the edge, so that it's not just complete black and complete white on the boundaries. There's some uh, half transparent color there. This is, you know, I got it backwards. It's radius and the then inverse it because smooth step gives zero if it's within the radius if we just do it like that. Hopefully. Yep. That's quote unquote anti alias circle. Looks much nicer. But the image is not animating. That is not cool. That is one thing with uh, shaders. If you don't do anything, um, if you don't upload any extra information, you don't have the temporal information, right? You don't you don't have this information propagating between each frame. And that's bad because it's you're just staring at the uh, steel image. That is why we have time uniform. What we could do is let's make the circle move. So again, this is also dormant domain distortion. What I can do is to set a location, right? I can just put uh, center equals back to make it on the top right. And what I, what I can do is subtract the center, effectively moving the whole local axis to bottom left. Actually, that's the, actually I'm moving it to the top right because minus is doing the inverse of the translation. So what happens now is Stick. So you can see it's on the top right, but it's not moving. What we could do is put um, converting our stuff to a spherical from spherical coordinate to uh, Cartesian coordinate like this. Let me just put a zero point five here. So you can see the circle is animating nicely here. We can also do some crazy stuff. Like change the rate of time. That's pretty crazy. You start to get this illusion of the circle turning into some other shapes. And this is probably the boringest thing you can do with toying with shaders. Let me just close it out. 
as you can see from the examples, right? Actually made something that looks pretty decent on shit area and it's running at real time. But this is this video is not a tutorial, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But you can see the potential of, you know, playing with shaders, you can really create some cool stuff. So this is it. If you wanna try it out, go to this link and grab it.